We're gonna make some decisions based on data. We're gonna first look at where we are now in order to make those decisions though. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Have you ever read the ingredients on a label? And something about those ingredients made you change your mind about buying that product. Perhaps it's a food label or a beauty product label, just something about it. Maybe it was one ingredient that you felt like, oh, no, 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 I know that that's not good for me or I know that I'd like something different. And you took that data and it helped you to make a decision. When we look at the facts, when we look at the data, like on a label, it does influence our decisions. It changes our actions. And it's the same thing with our lives. So something I highly recommend you do if I were in your shoes right now, something that I have done probably three times over the last two years that has been wildly effective. And it's gonna sound overwhelming at first, but I'm gonna break it down for you and you're gonna see that it's really not. It's so life-giving, is to do a little bit of time tracking. To first examine where am I actually spending my time? You might be incredibly surprised. <laughs> so for instance, when I looked a couple years ago, I did this and I looked at how much time I was spending on social media. And there's really nothing wrong with social media, right? Y'all know that. It's just a platform with which we can use to glorify the Lord, to put his message out. And for me, I love doing that. But at the same time, I know that in the big picture, the thing that matters more to me than doing that for other people in this current season of my life is doing it for my children. So when I looked at uh, the big picture of how much time I typically spend there, which is, I would say it was an average of about 10 minutes um, every day on weekdays. That added up to about 65 hours in a year. 65 hours, right? So for me, I, that was data for me. That was an ingredient that I saw in black and white and I thought, whoa, I want those 65 hours back for my kids. And again, we're not here to make a plan for all of time, but in that season, that was very clear to me. And maybe in another season, I will want to use the gift of those 65 hours to serve people in another capacity. But right now, that is what was most important to me. And so I, I decided to make some changes. That was like a, an instant, all right, I gotta change this. And now on average, it's probably more like two minutes Every weekday, I just check in even on my team and like people that are, that are really um, close to me. And I check in for two minutes every weekday, which now adds up to about six hours total in a year. Six hours, I can do that. <laughs> I can make the most of the time that I spend there too. So that's just one example of how time tracking and really examining how much time you're spending on certain things, even though you may think you know how much time you're spending on something, goodness, it adds up. So that's my first tip for you is to consider two weeks of time tracking or really whatever you know amount you wanna do, but typically two weeks helps to account for um, certain things that may only happen once in a while that um, add up over time. Just take a little bit of time to do some time tracking and you could do that on a piece of paper, just a little scratch pad. You could do that in the notes app on your phone. You can use a formal time tracking app. Uh, there's so many ways to do that. Use what's best for you, but highly recommend you do it. It might surprise you. Data turns into the right decisions. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions to, to help us gather some data. Are you ready? And write these answers down. And there are no wrong answers here. We're just gathering some facts. Um, what's working? I'm gonna ask you three questions. What's working, what's broken, and what needs to stay? And this is all in relation to our time. So what's, what's working with your time? Where are you really glad that you're spending your time? Whether it is um, something work-related, um, something with your family, something small, something big, maybe something you do once a year or once a quarter and you think, yes, I wanna keep doing that because that's producing really good fruit in my life and fruit in the lives of others. Number two is what's broken? What's something that's maybe good, but, but you need to try it in a different way or something that, um, that maybe just, just needs a makeover? <laughs> what is it in your life that, that's broken? It's something that just needs a refresh or a different system, different way of organizing it, uh, or maybe you just need to spend less time there even though it's a good thing. So what's working and then what's broken? And number three, what needs to just go? Can we get ruthless about these things? How you spend your time is how you spend your life. What needs to go? And I, I know, trust me, I know that it's hard to write those things down because you think to yourself, oh, oh, does that mean I'm actually gonna have to do something about that? Maybe, for now we're just writing though. So take that leap of faith and write the real answers. What's working? 
what's broken, just needs a little bit of fixing, and then what totally needs to go or be replaced by something new.